Hey guys, Miss Tracy here. We're back on 76 and we're doing another camp tips video. I do have a couple other videos with some good tips like overstock display shelves, garage doors and walls, underwater building, and some other glitches. So make sure you check those out. I'll put a link in the description and at the very end. And enough of me talking, let's go ahead and get started with a couple more tips for you guys today. So the first one is pain in the butt. It's gonna be this one right here. Actually, real quick, let me show you while it's dark. Just a little side tip. Oh, ignore my ally. Now I have this construction light here and I just wanna show you that, I might have covered this again before in another tip video, but it looks so good on these globes. It lights up my whole camp. So just a little tip there to use that light. All right, now let me get started on showing you these shelves here where you can just stock them like crazy. Now I figured this out because I saw other people doing it really is what I did. I noticed the conduits here and then I just kind of added the rug glitch with it. And now I've moved everything over and you can see the shelf set up without it actually being on these shelves because the game will not let you put things on shelves. It drives me crazy. But if you are doing this little trick here with the conduit, you can slip it in just right here. Let me just get the right angle. And you can make it look like that stuff is on the shelves. So I noticed almost everybody that was doing this had the frogs on every shelf to separate the shelves because they're like the perfect height, but they're really loud and obnoxious. So I didn't want to use that many of them. So I kind of found a few other things that work. Now you can see this small loot box, the supply crate from Nuclear Winter with the conduit on top is the perfect height. And then same with any of the fog machines or smoke machines with a conduit. And then these suitcases, which are under stash boxes, are also great if you just stack the two of them there. I had a couple things that were close. So I'll cut and show you those real quick. Okay, just cutting in real quick to show you. You can use this oversized Nixie tube, but it does show the rug unless maybe you're going up the shelves and your shelf is a little low and you want to make it go a little higher. And then I was also able to use this wooden crate as one. But again, that put things just a touch low. So let me show you how that looks. So see, this one is just a little awkward. You can only see it if you're really crouched, at least because it's a lower shelf for me. And these guys are just a little bit in there, but just a couple different options for you. All right, let's continue on. You just start by laying a conduit. I prefer this one right here. It's kind of small and discreet. And then you want to take a rug. Whenever I do this, I personally use this rug right here. So you want it on the very edge. And I have to warn you guys before we go any further that this is really tedious doing this. This took me like five hours for one shelf and probably about an hour and a half for this shelf once I got the hang of it. So then I like to put a second rug up and it's kind of tricky getting it to lay on top of the other rug. You're going to have to do a lot of moving around and hoping that the game will cooperate with you. Sometimes I have to leave the menu and come back. but eventually you should be able to finally get it to go on top like that. Oop, come on lag, there we go. And then you put whatever you want in your shelf, but then you need your item that is that perfect height. So like I did on the bottom here, I'll start. Oh, I would have started with the frog jar, but looks like I don't even have a frog jar right now. So we'll use these suitcases. So I'm gonna line them up like this, one on top of the other. And then you'll put the next rug down. Now again, it's gonna be kind of tricky trying to get it on top of things. You have to spin around, do a lot of twisting and turning. But eventually it will work. And then you put the second rug on and I think you guys kind of get the gist from here till eventually you have your shelf set up like this. Now it takes a lot of moving things around to get it lined up just the way you want it. So I'm just gonna cut in here and show you I'm working on this for the first time, but I just wanna show you part of the nightmare of doing this is getting the rug to actually show green. So I'm hoping this is gonna be the right size, but oh, dang it. I just gotta keep trying until I get that sweet spot. Okay, so I fast forwarded and that took a good minute. And there we go, all right. And then you gotta line up the next one. And it wants to lay on that stuff. And there is just gonna be one sweet green spot. I saw it there for a second. But this is why it's so tedious doing this. Oh, dang it, come on. There we go. 
So I mean, it's kind of getting a little crooked here now. I might want to start moving some of the stuff up or maybe I'll just try moving this whole toolkit. There we go. It's a little straighter. So really this is gonna take you forever lining all this up. All right, so back to what I was saying before. But hopefully this will work out for you. You can also do it with this shelf here. Now you can do two with the bookshelves, but it gets a little more awkward. I like these big metal shelves personally. Oh, my balloons are popped. All right, all better. Let's move on to the next tip. All right, another quick tip here. We got these new porches that came out recently with the Wastelanders update. And I just wanna point out that under defenses, there are porch railings that come with them. They look really nice and you can line them up just like that. All right, moving on. So someone showed me this next tip. They didn't want their name out there, but they did say they got it from Decoy's Dungeon and it's to get walls to be inside out. So if you can see here, I've got my wallpaper on the outside of my wall and also on the inside. Ta-da! So you need a very specific wall to do this. It's actually a door frame I'll show you. All right, so it's under the brick walls and it's this door frame right here. It has to be this one. So if you snap it there, you can see if you spin around, it'll also snap the other way. Now you can tell those aren't those doors. So what you do is you do the replace thing. So go to X, replace, and I'm just gonna use this wall that I like here. Ta-da! And then you can also move this. I mean, you can scrap it entirely. Now to add the wallpaper, you just go over here and click the wallpaper you wanna use. This also works for doorways and they still line up pretty nicely. So I'll show you that real quick too. There we go. Just kind of makes it like a thick doorway. So it doesn't look too bad. I feel like there's a lot you can do with this trick. All right, moving on. All right, so we got these nice new allies. They're pretty cool. They came out with the Wastelanders update. You can get different ones and they all have these little items that you build to get them to show up. But they're kind of a pain in the butt because they glitch around a lot and then a lot of them are get stuck using their item. Or for instance, I was trying to put this back and he was in the way from where I was standing before. Oh, see, now he's back in the way. So to get them to move, and it doesn't work every time, but I usually interact with them back and back out. And then sometimes that'll get them to move. Sometimes you gotta do it a few times. And then hopefully now he's done talking to me, he'll move out of my way. And I can move that back over. That's a good one. I hope. See, I mean, eventually he'll just get out of the way. <laughs> there we go. So, I mean, honestly, I don't know if this is so much a tip as just me being impatient and interacting with them until they finally move. So let me know in the comments if this works for you guys. Okay, so this next one I've seen in a couple different people's camps and it's just kind of a cute thing to do with this mounted Mothman. And this is from the holiday stuff. You need to get the presents for Christmas. And it's just using these lights, which are actually the O's in the signs and letters plan as like eyes. And it's really tricky. You gotta kind of line it up just right. So I got one there and then it wants to snap like that. You just gotta go a little further away. And eventually you should be able to get it where you've got two eyes like that. Now it's kind of hard to see because I don't have any lights on right here. I have no power there. So I'm just going to move him. Okay. He looks kind of obnoxious there, but picture this being like the dark corner of a room and that would look super freaky in the corner like that. Check him out. It's just a creative use of these O's as eyes or other light decorations. So you don't have to use them as letters. And we'll move on. So this one's more of a fix than a trick. So I was trying to move my house and I tore up some of the floor and I was trying to move the walls and I had a wall like this and I could not get that wall to go away. I could do that, right? And then this wall was still stuck here. So if I try to scrap it, I can't. If I try to scrap that one, I can't. Right? So if you have this kind of situation where you have something floating like this and it will not let you place it, you're gonna have to put up a temporary foundation. 
So sticking a foundation right here makes it so I can actually finally get rid of all this stuff and then I just have to do the foundation last. So if you have anything that says you can't move it because some of the structure is unaccessible, make sure you just put a foundation down and work backwards. All right, one last trick. So see these curtains? I just wanna show you guys that you can make them float. These are the new curtains. So basically all you do is put them up and scrap whatever they are on and they just stay up. So I'm not sure if you wanna use them as like a stage or what you could do with that, but I just thought that was a pretty cool little trick there that you can turn into something way more creative than just floating randomly above my stairs like that. All right, that's all I have for you guys for this episode. So again, like I was saying before, make sure you check out the other camp tips videos so you can do things like overstuffing your display cases and all the other stuff I was talking about earlier. Now, real quick before I finish, just wanna point out, if you've seen my camp before, you'll notice it's very quiet here right now. Um, taming a pet still works. However, it's still very glitchy and today my turrets randomly turned on my pet. So I did post an update saying that that all still works. And like I said, it does, but it's still bugged out a bit. So hopefully you won't have that happen. Hopefully I won't have that happen again. And hopefully they'll add more pet stuff soon. So in the meantime, I hope this video helped you guys out. Again, check out those other ones. I'll put a link here at the end. Hope you guys can make some awesome camps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Or if you have any tips you want to share, I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, if this helped you out, please give it a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and we'll see you guys next time.